So I got a comment the other day that made me laugh and then it made me think. Someone noticed in one of my videos that I was using macOS and said something along the lines, oh, this is a classic Linux situation, no time to deal with the issues, so you switched to macOS. And I sat there thinking, hmm, that's literally the opposite of what happened. But most importantly, when did we start treating operating systems like football teams or religions? When I use Linux, become an identity statement rather than I use this tool for this job. And today I want to talk exactly about that, about the tools becoming tribes. Well, first, let me set the record straight about my own setup. Five years ago, I bought a MacBook Pro with M1 chip, and this was well before I started using Linux. When my old Lenovo ThinkPad computer that I used for eight years and ran a Windows on it died, I decided to try the Mac ecosystem. Because I am interested in computers, I do like to try out new tech, and I had no hard feelings about switching from uh, Windows to Mac. Um, I did it out of sheer curiosity. And so I got the MacBook Pro M1. It was an expensive purchase, but I was saving up for this because I knew my Lenovo was about to die soon, and I thought that it's going to be a reliable machine to help me finish my undergrad uh, thesis writing and help me throughout the grad school as well. Plus, I started making videos around that time and I've heard a lot of good things about Max being uh, really good for video editing. And so that was another reason why I chose Mac at that time. And then about four years ago, when I started grad school, this is where I met Linux. And not because I was seeking enlightenment or because I was trying to join some open source movement, but simply because that's what we use in computational physics research most of the time. My research workstation runs Linux. The HPC clusters I use to run my simulation jobs run on Linux. In other words, if I want to do my research, I need Linux. Simple as that. So now I have this set up. At work, I use Linux exclusively. At home, I use my MacBook Pro for personal stuff and making these videos. But when I need to work from home, I can still use my Mac to remote into my workstation at uni and continue working just like that. So no problems there. Would I like to have a personal Linux machine with a proper GPU on it to experiment with? Yes, absolutely. I would love to have a playground where I could break things, fix them again, without jeopardizing my research tools. But that costs money, and right now it's not justified. So I run Linux inside a VM on my personal MacBook for tinkering and making, it, making my tutorials, you know, learning about Linux, and so on. And you know what? It works just fine. But here's what struck me about that comment. There is this underlying assumption that if you really care about Linux, you must use it for everything, all the time, on every machine, and I think that's nonsense. Linux is a tool, macOS is a tool, and Windows is a tool, and really good tools, if we are honest. It took decades of engineering to make them what they are now, but they're still just tools. We use Linux for research because that's the right tool for the job. The software ecosystem, the package managers, uh, the scripting, uh, like bash scripts, <clears throat> help us to automate the workflow, the HPC clusters compatibility. These are all practical reasons, not philosophical ones. Uh, and I use macOS personally uh, for video editing, for example, um, with Final Cut Pro because I spent years learning it. Why would I throw away that time? <clears throat> the machine is stable, the hardware is excellent, that's just practical. You know, somewhere along the way, the tech community turned the tool choices um, into your identity markers. I'm a Linux person, I'm a Mac person. And once something becomes your identity, any critique towards it becomes like a personal attack. But this is absurd. We don't do this with other tools. Nobody goes around saying, I'm a Phillips screwdriver head person. And anyone who uses Robertson screws is a sellout. We just use whatever works best for that task. Yet in tech, we created these tribes. Linux users look down on Mac users for selling out, and Mac users dismiss Linux. And Windows users mostly just want the job done and wonder what is all this fast about. And I think this mindset holds us back. Not just because it makes the conversations unpleasant sometimes, and it does. I mean, it literally can make us worse at our jobs. Because 
When you're invested in one tool and you think of this as being the best tool, you stop learning other tools. You stop understanding legitimate trade-offs and you make decisions based not on real effectiveness. And in my work, I can't afford this. If, say, an analysis is faster and more efficient in Python, I'll switch to Python from Julia to do that. Uh, for example, if a plot that I want to make does not look nice with Julia plotting libraries, I have no problems switching to Matplotlib from Python and get the task done. The only thing that matters here is getting the science done correctly and efficiently and as fast as I can. And the same applies to operating systems. You know, if my workstation runs Linux and my personal stuff is handled by macOS and it works fine at the moment, great. If at some point anything changes and something won't work anymore and I find that the other uh, system works much better, I'll switch. No problem, no fuss and no drama. There is no fundamental principle at stake here. These are computers, these are machines and they're used to accomplish tasks. That's it. And you know what's expensive? Buying a new Linux machine just to prove that you are a real Linux user. Even though my current setup works perfectly, that would be wasteful and just not very smart. But there is also another cost. Uh, when we treat tools like religions, we create a hostile environment when people are afraid to share that they use the wrong tool. In the research community, you might get judged because you use Windows. And people using Macs in Linux spaces sometimes get comments like I see sometimes. And this accomplishes what exactly? Does it make anyone better at their work? No. Does it advance knowledge? No. It just makes people feel bad and creates unnecessary divisions. With this video, it's the first time I've expressed something so directly in public. I usually tread carefully avoid controversy and explain things rather than judge them. But I realized that careful neutrality sometimes becomes cowardice. Uh, if that's the right word. At least that's what it feels like to me. And on this topic, uh, on topic of operating systems, uh, treating them like religions, on creating tribal identities around the tools we use to get something done, I think it matters enough to say clearly that this is absurd and we need to stop. Use whatever tools work for your situation, understand the trade-offs, be honest about the strengths and limitations of the particular tool and value your time. You know, I have enough things to deal with every single day of research, kids, endless chores, making these videos and, you know, a whole bunch of other things. And life is too short fighting a few extra hours with a tool just to prove that you're loyal to an identity that shouldn't exist in the first place. The computers don't care and neither should the rest of us. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.